According to some polls, Ron Paul is now second in the U.S. Republican presidential candidacy race. Does he really have a chance? This week, let's talk about that. Do you think Ron Paul has a chance? I personally don't. Why not? He looks weak, just physically. I don't know. He just looks like an old man. And sad to say, maybe his values are great and everything, but... Yeah. That's interesting. So do you think that I that'll think affect the way people vote? That's affecting the way I vote. Illuminati's going to have whatever they want. So who do you think they're going to choose then? They'll probably give it back to Obama. Not a chance. Why not? He's just too much on the fringe for the rest of America. But he has such a strong contingent among the youth. For now. Well, I'll tell you that any change that he'll bring forward will be on Obama's good work. That's what I'll tell you. So he's laying down a foundation for the next president, whoever he is? Exactly. That's my belief. In Australia. And, I, and I'm in Australia. <laughs> I think he's got as good a chance as any. I think Obama seems to have lost the affection of the public. The novelty of his candidacy wore off within about 12 months of his arrival. And Ron Paul certainly would be a novelty in office. He'd be a novelty, but that's what world politics is based on at the moment. I think he's interesting. He's a non-politician, speaks very honestly, but I don't agree with his policies. So if I were living here, I wouldn't vote for him, no. He gets more independence than both, um, than all three candidates, other candidates. So why does the media not pay attention to him? Well, basically because he's against the establishment. He's against everything the establishment stands for. He's against the um, military-industrial complex. He's against the Federal Reserve. Do you think he has a chance? Zero. He has zero chance. Zero. Why? He doesn't have the finances and he doesn't have the team necessary to put together a serious campaign. So you're just talking about how he's running, not ac actually his policies or whether or not he'd be good for the country. Well, if he doesn't have the team and the money to get his message out, nobody's going to hear it. Whether or not you think Ron Paul actually has a chance to become the next U.S. president, the bottom line is, if elected, he certainly would shake things up. And that seems to be something everyone is looking for.